I've been working on not expressing negative emotions. When I find myself in the throes of a negative emotion, is there something I can do or is there some trick to help me out of it and come back to reality? Hopefully you've all been, been working on not expressing negative emotions. And this is, the, this is the beginning of the work for us. This is where we have to begin. There is no other place to begin because if we can't stop expressing negative emotions, it's like not being able to stop bleeding. It's literally like that. Your very life force is being absorbed by negative emotions, being squandered, being squirted. So it's like opening veins and just letting them drain. Eventually, they will drain the life out of you until you are nothing, you're nothing but a shell, nothing but this machine walking around just doing whatever it is that, that life dictates because of whatever touches what button or what lever or what, what gear in the machine, whatever life brushes against. And that's literally what it's like. And so the machine does whatever it does randomly by whatever touches it wherever it's touched. And life touches us. Not expressing negative emotions is the very first step. It's where we find out we can't do. People who really make an attempt to do this work, where they find out what the work means when it says you can't do, is by not expressing negative emotions. And what they, when they really find out what this work says, what this work means when it says we lie all the time, is when we try not to express negative emotions, we find that we can't, and then we start lying about it. We said that we do. Well, that's not a negative emotion. Well, that, that's not a negative emotion. Anybody would feel that way if they were in, in these circumstances. No, anybody would not. No, this is an actual fact, and you can verify this. No, anyone would not feel the way you feel in these circumstances. Well, everybody I know would. Well, that's right. Everybody you know would because you want to be around only people who, who believe exactly what you believe, who think exactly what you think, who feel exactly what you feel. Because and anybody else who isn't like that, you've got buffers. You can't even see that about them. You'll just spray paint them a different color. Oh, well, they're, they're blue and, and all my group of friends are red and this one's blue. I'll just spray paint them red. Now, he's my friend, too. It's wonderful. We go around making everybody agree with us. Everybody agrees with us. And the people who don't agree with us, well, they're wrong. They've, they've made themselves, they put themselves out. They, we didn't paint them out of our circle. They painted themselves out by being wrong. And this is how we operate. We're essentially insane. When, I, when you find yourself in the throes of a negative emotion, yes, there's something you can do. Is it a trick? Well, it could be. It's up to you. It's up to you. What can you do in the throes of a negative emotion? Well, some negative emotions, absolutely nothing. You just go with it. There's nothing you can do. Sometimes all, the best you can do is muster up some awareness and see it and say, oh my God, I'm so negative. I just hate this person right now and I want to kill them. I'd let, if, I had a, if I had a pencil, I'd stab their eyes out. All you can do is see that and the trick then is don't believe that. Don't believe that that's really you. Don't believe that that's really what you want to do because you know that in better moments, in better states, you would never stab somebody's eyes out with a pencil. No matter how ridiculous or how horrible they were, you wouldn't do that. In better states, you would just go, hey, look, people make mistakes or people are crazy or people are machines. And so you would let it go. So don't believe the bad state that you're in, the bad eyes that are talking, the bad eyes that are in control. Don't believe them. Step away from them. Step away from the eyes. <laughs> Step away from the bad eyes and don't believe them. Try and find better eyes who you can associate with. Try and find better eyes to go with. Try and find some work guys who will say, look, people are all machines, lighten up. And that's a little trick that I find that you can do. Sometimes you can set traps for negative emotions, for the very fast ones, for the very fast negative emotions. Sometimes you think ahead of time and you can set little traps for them. You see the paths that they run in. You see the ways, the things that come up, what makes them come up. And you start to set traps. And as soon as you find yourself in the area where that negative emotion usually rears its head and does its thing so quickly that you can't even catch it. Then you set your trap and you say, okay, I know that this is where that negative emotion comes up, so I'm going to be on my toes looking for it. So sure enough, you start to feel some sense of it. Just the, the hair on the back of your neck starts to stand up and you say, okay, I know what this is, and you back away. What I mean by back away is you get more internal and less external. You go more into yourself where your essential self is, somewhere deep inside of you. You go more toward that, more toward the work, more toward the things that are not glued to the senses, not glued to the world. Those are some of the tricks that you can do to um, 
help yourself to come out of it and come back to reality. Now, reality for us is a strange, touchy thing because reality for us is, oh, I feel this way. But you don't feel that way at all. Some I in you feels that way, but you don't really know who you are, so how could you possibly know how you feel? You don't really know who you are, so po how could you possibly know what you think? Until you know who you are, you can't know what you feel or what you think. A lot of people are very uncomfortable with this. In this work, you have to become comfortable with not knowing. You have to develop a certain level of comfort with not knowing. I don't know. I don't know all the answers. All the things I thought I knew, I'm finding out they're not always right. And it's not going to hurt me to not know. It's not going to be the end of the world. All it does is bruise my pride and vanity some. Okay, some, sometimes a lot. It bruises my pride and vanity because other people think I'm stupid, because other people think I don't know. Well, the fact is you don't know, so why should that bother you? Well, because other people think. So what? You're going to have your whole life directed by other people? Well, yes, actually, we do that very well. We have we live in a society that all of life is directed by other people. I mean, people take polls. They have Gallup polls. They have all these polls. People make millions of dollars taking polls so that other people will know what other people think so they'll know how to behave. Excuse me, but if you have a moment of awareness and a moment of reality and a moment of consciousness, you will see how insane that is. That is insane. It is the way of this world. That's where we're going to stop on that one because this could turn into a whole talk. <laughs>